Corotopy Painters Lab. So before we begin, we must dilute our initial concentration of 500 milligrams per meter of lower red down to our desired concentrations of 1, 3, 6, 9, nice, 12, and 15 milligrams per liter. And to do this, we need to use the concentration volume formula, which is M times V is equal to M times V. Now, we want to have a total volume of 100 milliliters, and we have an initial concentration of 500 milligrams per meter. So we need to find out how many milliliters of water and how many milliliters of water we need to get our desired concentration. So to begin, we need to plug in 500 milligrams per liter for now. And multiply this by our volume of water wet in milliliters. And set this equal to our total volume times our desired concentration. Now, this math is extremely difficult. So we need to divide 1,000 by 5. Wrong. And this gives us a volume of lower wet of 2 milliliters after numerous iterations and derivations and applications of the red transport data. So we know that we have 2 milliliters of lower wet and we have a total volume of 1,000 milliliters to reach our desired concentration of 1 milligram per meter. So we can find the amount of water that we need to add to our concentrations of the lower wet. 1,000 minus 2 is equal to 998 milliliters of water. And now we know how to dilute our initial concentration of 500 milligrams per liter down to 1 milligram per liter. And if we use the same method, we end up getting Once it's been thoroughly mixed, you can examine it with the Hatch meter. And that's pretty much how you do it. So here we have the Hatch meter. Uh, we use this to measure the absorbent for the data. Um, so here we remove this and we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on. Oh, there we go, okay, here we go. And so we have to go to program 12 as well. We enter, we have to zero with the water. So we cover with this, with diamond in front, you zero. Okay, now it's zero. You switch, you have the water, right? Make sure you wipe with towel to get fingerprints off. And now we read. Okay, it's 1.2. That doesn't seem right. Okay, look, we have a milligram per liter. We need an absorbent. So we have the... Yes, the absor absorbent button. We have absorbent now. Now we record data. So uh, here we have a strawberry crush. Yep, that's strawberry crush. Uh, so now we're gonna find a uh, we're gonna find the absorbance of some commercial products, so like strawberry crush and Gatorade and stuff like that. So we're gonna put it in this little container again with the hot meter. Uh, make sure to put the lid on securely so nothing dumps out, and then you gotta wipe it off with a little towel, you know. Put the diamond in the front, and then put this thing back on. We're gonna hit read. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Okay, now once we zeroed it back again, it's back to zero, now we can read it. This is milligrams per liter, which we don't want, so we're gonna switch it to absorbents. Oh no! Since it's over two, it means it's not a good reading because the Hotch meter can't read over two absorbents. So we're gonna take this out and dump it because it's pointless. We don't need it, we don't want it. Then we're gonna take 
about five milliliters and we're gonna put it in with about 95 milliliters of water. That's about five milliliters, so we're just gonna release that into there. Maybe, oh, there we go. Stir this bad boy up. Now we're gonna try again. Hit read this time. And we've got a better value of 1.44. 1.5. First, all I did was move the concentrations for the sock solutions over to the right, um, just in one graph so that I can easily graph it. So I'm going to highlight the data, insert a scatter plot. Um, this is going to be concentration versus absorbance. So we're going to have concentration on the x-axis and absorbance on the y-axis. I'm going to add the axis titles and change those to what they are supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and click on the data. I'm going to add a trend line. That's at the right click. Click add trend line. Um, first, I'm going to take the other line out that was there originally. So click on no, no line. The trend line, I'm going to make a solid line because I want it to stick out a little bit. And then at the bottom, or on, all the way on the right, um, I'm going to click on display equation and R squared value. That's going to tell us how good the trend line is, and it's going to display the equation. So the equation, we can use that. The slope of the equation is equal to, helps us to find the absorptivity. The absorptivity is the slope divided by the light path length. The light path length is just simply the length between the sample and the light in the Hotch meter. So next, I'm going to copy this graph, and I'm going to paste it down at the below it. Um, this is simply the, just so I don't have to do all the work I did before. And I'm going to change this to absorption versus concentration. So this time, the absorption is going to be on the x-axis and the concentration on the y-axis. This is the standard curve, and this is going to help us find the concentrations of the um, other solutions, such as Gatorade and Powerade and all that stuff. So all I'm going to do is when I click on this data, I can go to the top to chart design and I can click on select data and I can actually switch my X and Y axis. So for my X values, I'm going to ch choose my absorption and then for the Y values, I'm going to choose concentration instead. So then this will pretty much just flip the graph. It'll give us a different equation and now we're going to use this equation to find concentration. So with this equation, if you plug in absorption for X, you'd get a uh, y answer of concentration. So I'm going to use this equation uh, that I got from the graph to find the concentrations of all the commercial products. So if I plug that in, um, Excel's formula, just use the average absorption um, right beside it, and then what I'm going to do is just drag that formula on down and just get all the concentrations. And there you have it, that's it.